Welcome back everyone, I'm Robin from This Blog's Neat and it is super muggy outside and I'm in the mood for some rum. So you obviously know what rum I'm tasting because you clicked on this video. I am trying a rum from Guyana. This is the Golden Devil Single Cask Rum, 13 year old, produced at the Diamond Distillery. It's pot distilled and bottled at cask strength. And it was not only distilled using just any old pot still, it was distilled using the Port Morant pot still, which I will talk about in a second. Uh, cask strength, by the way, 64.5% ABV. So yeah, this was selected and bottled exclusively for KNL, which is where I ordered it from. So this is one of 203 bottles. So I ordered this from KNL because it was one, a good rum and two ridiculously on sale. So this is normally a hundred dollar bottle and for one reason or another, they're just trying to get through stocks. It was marked down to $44. So maybe you've recognized this label before golden devil or kill devil. This is the rum line from Hunter Lang, which is an independent bottler. They normally bottle scotch. That's what they're known for, but they do have a rum line that they put out. So Diamond Distillery is located in Guyana. It's owned by Demerara Distillers Limited. And as of 2000, it is the only distillery in Guyana. They mainly produce a lot of bulk rums that go into other rum blends. And one of their lines that's probably most widely recognized is El Dorado. Demerara rums are unique to Guyana. They're made from molasses that's produced from the refinement of Demerara sugar. Demerara, 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 Demerara. Wow, the more I say that, the weirder it sounds. Demerara, Demerara, Demerara. Now there are a number of cool things about Diamond Distillery. DDL, Demerara Distillers Limited, has their own yeast strain that they propagate in-house. They collect the CO2 that comes off of the fermentations and then use that in like sodas and stuff like that. So they are collecting a waste and using it for something else. However, what DDL is most known for is the stills that they have. So as all the distilleries in Guyana closed down, DDL took their stills and now has a whole variety of different stills. They have nine different stills to be specific. And the most famous stills that they have is the Port Morant still, their Versailles still, which I'm not mispronouncing. <laughs> and their Enmore still. The Port Morant still is a double wooden pot still. The Versailles is a single wooden pot still. And the Enmore is a wooden coffee still. It is also the oldest operational coffee still, like in the whole world. It was made in 1880. And all of these wooden stills are made from local wood. This is called Greenheart wood, and it's really hardy and used to make jetties and things like that because it's able to withstand like constantly being wet. Now the Port Morant still was collected from Port Morant, which was a distillery established in 1732. Rums from the Port Morant still are said to be really heavy, oily, and have really high congener levels. These rums get blended into other rums such as El Dorado and Pussers as well. And for maturation of their rums, Diamond Distillery often uses ex bourbon casks. So this is a nice light color, although it is 13 years old, most likely some ex bourbon, some refill casks. And a little fun fact is that Demerara rum was like a core component in the British Navy rum blend, which is why it goes into brands like Pussers. Anyways, I think that's all I have to say about Diamond Distillery and DDL. And yeah, let's taste. Actually, before I taste, I do want to give a huge shout out to the Patreons. Thank you guys so much for helping to support the channel. You guys already got to see that I picked up this bottle as well as three other rums from KNL in my KNL haul. And if you, the viewer, would also like to join us over on Patreon, I'd be so thankful. I've got a link in the description below where you can join us over there. But yeah, 
let's taste. So like I said, this is a nice light color for something that's 13 years old. I would call it like a honey color. We'll call it honey, maybe golden. Mm. So I'm getting a little bit of heat right off the bat, but this is 64 and percent. So it's fine. And it's also warm in here. Um, but it's not super like funky in your face fruits, but there are so many nice tropical fruit notes. I'm getting a lot of vanilla too. Oh my gosh, this is like a, a like a creamsicle. Okay, so there's like, there's orange and there's vanilla. It's very sweet. Yeah, creamsicle. Ooh, okay. It was a little bit of tire meets mulch, but not in a bad way. And now I'm back to the fruits. Okay. Now I'm back to the tires. <laughs> So besides just like the orangey notes, there's also some pineapple in here, but there's a lot more than that. This is a really complex like mixed fruit salad, a little bit of banana, but I think the bananas are under ripened. Some stewed apples, that would make a really weird fruit salad, but maybe some honeydew melon. Now I'm just thinking about fruit salad. There's citrus, but I feel like most of the citrus is like all of the orange. Like I'm getting the orange peel, the oils, the actual like meat of the orange. There's a little bit of nuttiness here too. Something creamy, something like cashew. Mm, yeah, I call that like cashew butter. This is a really lovely nose and I feel like there is a little bit more heat on the nose than I would want, but again, it's also like Kind of warm in here so maybe it's just the temperature in the room or of my hand there's a fun creaminess in here too which like gets back to the creamsicle thing mm. very nice so there's definitely some heat 64 and a half percent though so <laughs> it's forgivable um and a little trick that i have when something does have a lot of heat. I guess it's two tricks. Take a much smaller sip than you normally would and really, really, really leave it on your tongue. If I let all of the heat dissipate, then once I swallow, I can actually pick out all those fruity flavors instead of swallowing and feeling like I have like dragon breath, right? Instead of feeling like it's just heat coming up and I'm just like getting that sensation. So really let like your tongue and and like the warmth of your mouth do a lot of that work, evaporating off some of that some of that heat um, before you swallow, and then that'll help you with like the retronasal olfaction. So like tasting the finish, right? Anyways, while this was in my mouth, I was getting so much juicy, juicy, juicy fig newton. Like if fig newtons were made with like these very, very juicy figs. The mouthfeel was lovely and viscous and super nice. So like oily, yeah, I get that. There was a little bit of spiciness, a little bit of like a woody aspect to it as well. That was really fun. I'm gonna have to go in for another sip. But now that I go back to the nose, I'm getting like a little bit of like a salted caramel covered fruit thing. Like there's just like a little bit of salinity there, a little bit of salt and definitely some like pineapple fronds. The fruits are more like green plantains. Again, that orange is coming through, but now it's almost like a dehydrated orange a little bit maybe a hint of grapefruit in there. And then the spiciness, the baking spices that I'm getting, there's definitely some cinnamon bark, a little bit of like oregano, interesting. A little bit of that mulchiness comes forward, but it's kind of like going back and forth between being like mulchy and cinnamon bark. There's also a little bit of like a grassiness, but I think that's more so like that pineapple frond thing, and like a very light roast coffee at the very end. Yeah, there's a little bit of like fun waxiness at the end as well, almost like a vanilla 
candle, a little bit of that like orange finish. So it's almost, yeah, maybe almost like a creamsicle candle, but like less sweet. Ooh, a little raisins on the finish too. Maybe some plums in there too. Lots of figs. Mm -hmm. So this is a lot fruitier on the nose, a little less fruity on the palate, but it's really fun, really nice. This is really lovely. So I am very happy that I picked this up. I have one of my viewers, Co N, to thank for this. They're the one who commented on my video and told me that KNL was running a sale on this, <laughs> among a few other bottles. Um, and this was also the bottle that my patrons were most excited for me to try out of the haul that I brought home from KNL. So. So yeah, if you have the opportunity to pick this up for $44, like great rum to have on hand. Uh, this will be very delicious. Um, I don't know that I'd recommend just sipping it neat. Again, 64 and a half percent, like quite a high ABV to sip neat, although I have been known to do that. Um, but maybe, I don't know, in a, in a cocktail, very rum forward cocktail, which all my rum cocktails are rum forward. This could shine really nicely. So if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you subscribed, gave this video a thumbs up, leave me some comments below. Have you tried any other bottlings from Golden Devil or Kill Devil? What do you think of them? Yeah, any other rums that you're excited about, let me know in the comments below. And a little fun fact is that Demerara rum, Demerara rum, that is a tongue twister. And a little fun fact is that Demerara rum, Demerara rum. And a little fun fact is that Demerara rum, <laughs> oh, Demerara rum, Demerara rum.